Welcome back to Sports Report. Matt White here as we do our annual uh, wrap-up of the season. I'm joined by two representatives from the Virginia Pilot, and Lee Tolliver and Larry Obama. Gentlemen, appreciate you coming out. No problem. Thank you. First, let's start with the uh, PA, our lone representation from Southampton Rose in the state championships this year, Lee. Yep. Uh, as you had said, a lot of people kind of wrote them off after that stinging defeat to uh, Woodside, but uh, I didn't. They've got three Division One signees, and when their game's on, as they showed in two state tournament games, they can beat anybody. But th those three players have to be on for them to, to go that far. And hey, they, they made it back. They're a reloading, not a rebuilding team. So. That's right. That's the sign of a real program. You don't rebuild, you reload. And mm -hmm. we all know with Coach Dozier, he will oh, yeah. reload. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who knows who's going to show up there next year? That's right. You never know, especially in the Beach District. But let's transition over now to our surprises this year. You know, we had teams with some expectations, but a lot of teams exceeded those expectations. And we'll start with you, Larry, with the boys. On the boys, definitely Kingsport. I mean, here's a team who finished third in their district, in the Southeastern District, and ends up getting to the, uh, to the region semifinals. I mean, I thought they just, you know, did a really good job. The other team I thought was surprised was Norview. I mean, I even had them in my top four, and here they come not only win the Eastern District Legacy season title, but made a nice strong run and made it to the region semifinals. I thought both of those teams did really well this year. And Lee for the girls? Yeah, Maury, most definitely. A giant killer in the region tournament, took down Salem and Kingsfork, uh, started four freshmen and one senior, and brought two sophomores out on the court. So they're going to be around for a while, and uh, they're going to be tough. Yeah, that's definitely a team we've had our eyes on this year, just as you said, with the freshmen talent that they've got, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with for at least the next three years. Well, and they only lost to Woodside by nine. So, you know, they're, they're, uh, they were impressive. And, that's, and that was a very dominant Woodside team this yeah. year, only yep. with two losses, one of them to Oakton, the eventual state champs, and the other one was to, I believe it was uh, Oak, Hill. Oak Hill. Oak Hill in the Boo Williams Christmas tournament. Mm -hmm. But now, well, let's flip over from our surprises to our disappointments, the teams that we thought were going to be strong this year but didn't necessarily live up to those expectations. Well, you know, last time they did win the Beach District Vega season in the tournament, but they didn't do anything in the, in the you know, the region tournament. That's where you got to win it. They had a nice winning streak coming in. They were ranked in the top five in the state, I believe it was number four, and then they got knocked out by Kings Fork. And not seeing them get to the finals, I thought for sure they'd get to the finals, and they didn't. I think that was a disappointment this year. On the, on the girls' side, um, Western Branch probably, they were loaded with talent. Um, I know they suffered a stretch uh, that hurt them with McKay out, but uh, they were kind of a disappointment. Salem, I mean, un unbeaten, had PA by 15 in the Beach District game on the ropes, and then, um, you know, they ended up getting beat by Maury. Um, uh, Kings Fork was a team that could have made some noise. Grassfield, there were some, there were some good girls teams that just didn't make a great showing when it came to the playoffs. That's right. You know, as you mentioned with Salem, that was a team that kind of came onto the scene, was strong, as you say, kind of woke up the whole region up with that sound defeat over PA. But then PA came back in their tournament game, knocked them off. So, but let's talk about not just teams, but who are some of the individual players that had a standout year, uh, Lee? Oh, I like uh, Shanique Hicks from from Maury. She's she's a, a great player, and you've got the um, uh, Hunter and um, Webster from Norfolk uh, Christian, great players. Cape Henry's loaded. Uh, yeah. There's there's a I had trouble picking my all Tidewater team because there is a there are a lot of good girls players. That's right, because we're talking about an area where, you know, for the last couple of years, Elizabeth Williams really dominated the mm -hmm. area in terms of player of the years and just standing out. So it's good to see so there are new names and new faces that will be coming along in the next few years. A lot of them. And then, Larry, what about on the boys' side? Uh, Rayshawn Madison. Here's a kid who, you know, he's, he's been playing since he was a freshman, but he really stood out and played well and helped lead that team uh, to their district title. And also his teammate, Cedric Barfield. I mean, he had a great season. He was the heart and soul of that team, kept the team going. I thought he had a really good season as well. Um, you know, in the Southeastern District, you know, I really like Dontrell Bright. He played well as well as Shannon Evans. They did well, both did well. And then Todd Jovens also from, uh, from Great Bridge led them to a regular season title, first one since 2000. I thought all those guys played really well this season. That's right. You were talking about a Southeastern District that was very strong. You had a lot of candidates that could have yeah. taken home that Player of the Year title this year. Yeah, I thought so as well. Chris Williams, I know he had many, many double-doubles. I think it was 21 double-doubles. Um, but there was a lot of really good players in that district this year. And then you can't also forget uh, Zach Johnson over at, King, at Kings Fork. He had a really good season, came on strong, held lead them to the semifinals in the region tournament. Okay, well, we've talked about this season. Let's put on your – let's look in the crystal ball, guys. Yeah. What – can we expect or what do we think we'll see next year in Southampton Roads basketball? 
On the boys' side, Norview. I mean, uh, they had one game during a tournament where the coach decided to play all the younger guys, and they did pretty well. They held their own. In fact, they, you know, they beat up on Granby, and I think he's got a lot of those guys coming back this year. I think Norview's going to be good, and you cannot count out Maury um, as well as Lance Town and, and Nance from River. All those teams are always strong, but I really like what uh, what Norview's doing. And then you can't forget about Cape Henry. They won the, the tournament this year for boys basketball, and next year they still got Jimmy Page, uh, you know, Devin uh, Hall, I and mean, they're going to be a strong team for the next two years. Very strong will be Cape Henry. And what about on the boys' side, Lee? Well, uh, the girls' side, I mean, Excuse uh, me. uh, Princess Anne, I mean, you can never count them out. It's people show up there because of the IB program, so you can never count them out. I think Salem's going to continue to be good. Lanstown, Vic's got a great program there. I think they're going to be good. Um, Cape Henry and Norfolk Christian and TCIS. Uh, Mo I think Maury and Lake Taylor will continue to be the teams in the Eastern and um, in the southeastern, you got Western Branch, Kings Fork, Grassfield. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting next year. That's right. There's one thing we both know, guys. There will always be strong basketball in South Hampton, mm -hmm. whether it be for the girls or for the boys. But any final thoughts on this season before we wrap it up here, guys? Just, I was impressed by what Cape Henry did going up there and winning the state. I mean, they had a rough, they you know finished tied for the regular season, got knocked out by Norfolk Christian in the, in the tournament, but they bounced back and, and you know end up going to a state title. They look really good doing it as well. Okay, and Lee. Ditto. The girls did the same yeah. thing. It's a you know, Cape Henry's got a great program yeah. going over there with all their athletics. So yeah, I'd well once again, Matt White thanking our representatives from Virginia Pilot, Mr. Larry Obama and Lee Oliver. With that, we'll send it back over to the desk with my good friend Matt Hatfield. Matt. Thank you, Matt, Larry, and Lee. And that wraps up another great season here on the Cox 11 Sports Report. We appreciate you watching all season long. And for highlights of the games, high school football, high school boys basketball, and high school girls basketball, make sure you visit cox11.com and on demand see our YouTube page as well. For all the hardworking people behind the scenes, Dan Colley, Matt White, all our people that have helped us out this year, I'm Matthew Hatfield saying we'll see you back here in August on the Cox 11 Sports Report.